Prompt generation and evaluation in the cloud console. Hi guys, I'm actually pretty embarrassed to share this feature with you because it's probably been live for a couple of months already and I wasn't aware of it. And I've been using cloud pretty often, but I didn't know about this uh, pretty cool console. So first of all, let's cover the blog post it was published by the Anthropic team and then I will show you exactly what does the cloud console or Anthropic console do. So first of all, you can generate prompts. So writing a great prompt can be as simple as describing a task to cloud and the console offers a built-in prompt generator and this is pretty cool because what you can do basically is give a very simple prompt and then the LLM in this specific instance cloud will generate a detailed prompt using XML which if you guys have been following my channel you saw that XML at the moment is the best format for creating prompts so let me show you an example please generate a cold outreach email for me it should be personalized so let's assume this is my let's assume that I'm lazy, which I am, and I'm not interested in writing like a detailed prompt with a system message, a description of the role, um, examples of input, examples of output, guidelines, etc. So I just give it this simple prompt and it will generate a prompt from scratch. Check this out. Let me make this bigger. It's currently writing. Generating the prompt. Okay, so let's see what it generated. And check out the XML. You are tasked with generating a personalized cold outreach email. Use the following input variables to create a tailored message. Recipient name, this is the variable. Closing the recipient mail tag. Recipient company, this is the variable, recipient role, sender name, sender company, sender role, product or service, unique value proposition, and closing of unique value proposition. Then these are the guidelines. Um, start with personalized greeting using the recipient name. In the opening paragraph, briefly introduce yourself and your company. Demonstrate that you've done research on the recipient company and role. Clearly state the purpose of the email. Highlight your unique value proposition, include a clear, a clear call to action, close with a professional sign off, and then a few more guidelines. So concise, the image should be concise, it should be professional yet conversational in tone, etc. And here's an example of a good code outreach email. Example good, as you can see over here, this is again the opening of the XML tag. So subject streamlining HR process for TechCorp. Dear Sarah, I hope this email finds you well. My name is John Smith, etc. Let's move forward. Now it's closing the example good. What is Grammarly doing? Now here's an example of a poor cold outreach email. Example bad. Revolution, <laughs> the subject line is revolutionary HR software. Hey there, are you tired of wasting time on HR tasks? Our amazing software will solve all your problems. We're the best in the business and have tons of happy customers. Buy now and get 50% off. This is the closing of the bad example. And here's the ending. Now using the provided input variables and following guidelines above, generate a personalized code outreach email. Be sure to tailor the content to the recipient's role and company and clearly communicate the value proposition of your product or service. Write your email inside the email tags. So. This is the prompt that was generated based on my just one liner. Now, what you can do next is using the Anthropic um, console, you can come here. This is the workbench, which I, I didn't, I wasn't aware that it existed. So basically I imported the prompt here. This is one of the prompts. And then you can run the code over here to get a response. And what you can also do is you can change the variables. So in my case, as you can see, we have this variable recipient name, recipient company, recipient sender, etc. And over here, I, I just change this. So John from Autogen, assuming that I want to target John from Autogen, 
then the sender name is Yaron, the sender company is my company Ecomex Factor, and the product or service is AutoGest Studio. So this is the variable which I can either add the content or we can generate an, uh, an example, like a demo of the variables to see what happens. Now this is pretty cool and you can see here another example, Dr. Emily Zhao, Quantum Leap from Quantum Leap Innovations. The center name is Alex Frost. The center company is Datasphere Solutions and this is the name of the product. Now when I hit the run button, it will generate a response this way you are able to see if the prompt is is correct if it's precise if it if it generates the output that you're expecting now another cool thing which you can do is obviously you can change the model settings the temperature the max tokens and the coolest thing that, which i wasn't aware of and this is why i wanted to share with you guys is the evaluation ability so basically what you can do over here you can add different data points so i mean this is the variable column for the recipient name so we can add john sarah dr emily zhao then the recipient company we can add autogen technova solutions etc and over here we have the model response and we can generate the model response for each one or for each row basically and then we will have different code email outreaches in this case if i wanted to create something else I could have done that as well what you can also do you can add rows and you can ask Claude to generate more test cases so let's generate another test case so Olivia Nakamura from Green Tech Innovations the center name is Daniel Hoffman and the coolest thing about this you can evaluate on your own give an evaluation of the output and you can compare so basically I created, I had three different prompts. This is the third one. And I can also add the other two prompts. Version two, let's make this smaller. And I can generate the response in all versions, as you can see here. And basically it's generating the response and as you can see all of them are in with the email tag so it will be easier to pass afterwards let's generate this as well it takes some time then let's generate this one and this is an empty field so let's generate this one it is running then we can generate this one could just hit run remaining and it will generate all of them but it doesn't work uh, simultaneously it, it does this one by one and then what you can do you can obviously rate all of them and based on this you know what is the best um, prompt the best format so let's say we wanna we wanna add a new prompt we can just create a new version you are let's change this for example You are you use humor. You use sarcasm in your headlines. Just let's see an example. Sarcasm. Okay, now we have this. We can run this. And the subject line is because quantum leap and cybersecurity go together like oil and water, right? So this is an example. Then we can come here to the evaluation and we can add the comparison. So at the moment, it will generate now an email to John from Autogen with a sarcastic headline. Autogen Studio, because who doesn't love more automation? And now we can add a comparison which is a different version, let's say V3, and we can compare them side by side. So you can see exactly what was the output for this prompt versus the output for this prompt. We can give it an evaluation, go over everything, and then eventually we can obviously export everything to a CSV. 
and based on the analysis we can decide which prompt is the best for our use case. So this is just a very cool um, way that the Anthropic team has organized this ability to evaluate different prompts. And I also love the prompt generator, which I wasn't aware of. So I highly recommend that you guys check it out. Um, I guess that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, obviously like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, any suggestions. And until next time, keep on automating.